Hello, and welcome to Bellmark's Pricing Generator demo. This new web to web innovation will provide you the ability to instantly look up current correct pricing when creating purchase orders. It is fast, accurate, and efficient. It will save you time. You no longer have to search through PDFs trying to find the right quote. Our goal is to provide services that make your work easier. We think this new application will do just that. Our pricing generator provides a visual of instant pricing for the labels, film, and cartons that you plan to order with Bellmark. The intent of this pricing generator is to take the guesswork out of a complex task. Every part number and label number is now tied to a Bellmark quote. Finding the right price is just a few clicks away. You can evaluate unit costs by simply inputting different quantities. Plus, the application will allow you to easily see what items can price together for total volume. We believe this will drive order efficiency and help you manage your label and packaging costs. So let's begin. The pricing generator is on your web to web account, is accessible at all times, and is only a few clicks away. Upon opening the pricing generator, you'll see a table with all of your labels that are currently active with Bellmark. The labels are sorted with the newest item first and then descending to oldest. There's options to sort these to your liking and we'll demonstrate that shortly while explaining the headers. Right off the bat, I'll display all the items on this page for demonstration purposes. The first column we see is part number. This is your item identifier, which corresponds with an internal Bellmark label number. Now, this column can be sorted by clicking on the column header like so, and clicking it again will change the order of the sorting. You can also select how to sort the column by clicking on the column settings icon here. You can select sort ascending and sort descending. The columns drop down menu gives you the ability to pick and choose which columns you want displayed and which ones you want hidden. You can filter or search these columns by simply typing the part number or part of it here. Our table is now displaying only the part numbers that contain S10. You can clear the filter by selecting the column settings icon scrolling over filter and selecting clear. Every column that we'll cover in this demo can be sorted and filtered as shown. The next column is label number. This is the Bellmark indicator assigned to the item. Clicking the hyperlink will pull up a PDF of the label page. Up next is quote number. This is the assigned quote and pricing associated with the item. Click in the hyperlink will pull up a PDF of the associated quote. Price group. This is a new Bellmark indicator that simplifies everything down to one number. This categorizes the labels to show which items are able to price together for a total volume price. Up next we have description and this is just a short explanation of the item. The size column will provide the across and around dimensions of the item. The material column will list the material specifications of the item. Hard card is Bellmark's key to identify the materials and manufacturing sequence needed to complete an item. Click in the hyperlink will pull up a PDF of the technical data sheet. Features will display any value added feature the item has. Some examples are zipper, soft touch, laser score, and infinite edge. Product type classifies the item as a pressure sensitive label, a film pouch, film roll stock, film shrink sleeve, and folded carton. Print process provides a brief explanation of how the item is printed. Web to print, Trident, 
or try to max. The colors column will provide the number of colors on the label. And lastly, there's UOM. UOM is the unit of measure Belmark has the item internally set up in. M for thousands and EA for eaches, and both of these are interchangeable. More unit of measures are being added as we continue to make improvements to the pricing generator. We'll do our best to delight you every time you do business with us. So let's start by adding an item by simply clicking add next to the desired item you want to order. As you can see, the item has created a subsection below where you can add the quantity you'd like to see pricing for. Let's say your forecast calls for 25,000 of this item. So you will enter 25 in the quantity field. By hitting enter or tab, you can see that the price per thousand and the total has updated. You can also change the unit of measure to eaches, but doing so will require updating the quantities in the quantity field. So let's change this to eaches and update the quantity to 25,000. As you can see, the prices per eaches has changed, but the total price is still the same. If there is a unit of measure you regularly order with, you can make that a default in the settings located in the top right hand corner. You can also change the table view between small, medium, and large. You can view Bellmark's standard price breaks here and read our frequently asked questions to better assist you on this application. In the subsection below, you can see that there are headers as well. Price group, average group price, and this is a helpful cross-reference when you're trying to reach a standard cost or price point, item count, group quantity. This is the total quantity of the items that have been selected they are able to price together. And lastly, we have price group items. This button will filter the table above to display any items that can be priced together for a total volume price. We'll include this item, and as you can see, the item has been added into the same subsection. Let's enter the same quantity for this item. The price, grand total, and the headers simultaneously updated as the quantities were being entered. Let's add a few more items that are not in this price group by clearing the filter in the price group column. A new subsection is created because that item can't combo price with the other items. And the more items we add that aren't in the same price group will have their own subsections created. So as you can see, each price group has their own subsection, price per thousand or eaches, average group price, item count, quantity count, and their dollar totals. Please note that when generating price within a price group, the unit of measure must be consistent for each item in the price group subsection. Once you are satisfied with the items that you have added to the pricing generator, a PDF can be created of your session by clicking the Generate PDF button below. A PDF is now downloaded and shows the part number, label number, quantity, unit of measure, quote number, price group, description, unit price, total price, and grand total. This will look very much like the pricing confirmation PDFs that are provided when a PO has been priced in our system. There is a timestamp on the top left as well as the bottom of the page indicating the time and date the session was executed. The pricing will be valid and accurate for the session that you are in and each session will be its own entity. The pricing generator has a 60 minute inactivity reset period which will cause a session to time out. It will also reset itself if you leave the application for another tab in Web2Web, -web, so be aware of that. We know our pricing grids and quotations can be complex to understand at times, and many of our customers only rely on their internal inventory systems to forecast ordering. 
This new application will help make pricing easier to understand, allow you to find the right price quickly, and allow you to group items more efficiently. By doing so, the pricing generator will allow you to easily weigh label and packaging costs against inventory and obsolescence considerations. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this demo. If there are any questions, concerns, or assistance required, please reach out to your Bellmark sales representative, account service representative, or estimator. Thank you. For more how-to videos and to stay up to date with Bellmark News, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page to receive updates from the source library and follow our social media pages linked down below in the description.